Logan, Jake Paul's brother, has requested that Jake Paul postpone his bout with Mike Tyson because he believes Jake will be thoroughly embarrassed. As he doesn't see any scenario where Jake Paul comes out looking good from this fight, as if he loses it to an old man. Yet if he wins, even though it's Mike Tyson, he's almost 60 years of age. Furthermore, if Mike Tyson fails an uncommon test outlined in the fight regulations, his bout with Jake Paul may be canceled. But just how true are all these claims? Be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. The fighters are advocating for the battle to be considered a professional match. TLDR, or the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, has the last say on the matter. If Tyson fails one of their pre-fight exams, the TLDR may also decide to call off the match. Fighters who are older than 38 are required by their regulations to provide electroencephalogram, EEG, and electrocardiogram, EKG, findings that are favorable. In four months, former heavyweight world champion Tyson will make his Texas debut. By then, he will be 58 years old. A fighter's brain diseases are assessed by the EEG, while cardiac issues are identified by the EKG. TDLR communications manager Telemange informed USA Today Sports, we can also request additional testing if we think it's appropriate. But even if Tyson passes the examinations, the fight might still be considered an exhibition. As most of you would know, the main backlash there has been since the announcement is that Mike Tyson is 58 and has been seen using a cane a few years back and even a wheelchair. Former UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping even called Jake Paul out for this fact. This is a joke. Respect to Mike Tyson, okay? One of the greatest heavyweights ever. That's a fact. He was ferocious. He was a knockout artist. You know all the details. Of the business didn't do too well. So now he drags up Mike Tyson. This is being a real fighter. That's where I have an issue. He talks about being one of the best ever. Talking about being the greatest, being the champion of the world. He's a laughing stock. Eddie Hearn called him out on that. Back in the day, said, all right, I'll give you one of my guys who's up and coming. Didn't want to do it. And believes the fight should not go ahead. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any upcoming videos from the combat sports world. Prior to Mike Tyson's surprise battle with Jake Paul later this year, Tony Bellew has expressed his concerns about the fighter's health. In an interview with SpinBet, Bellew expressed his concerns on the event. I am worried about it personally, but listen, you don't know what's been agreed between the two, he said. It's frightening that Mike Tyson is going back into a boxing ring against somebody who is more than 30 years younger than him. It's just a bit nuts. I'm hoping that the fight is a bit of a circus and a bit scripted because I wouldn't want to see Mike get hurt in any way, shape, or form. Let's see what happens. He is going to be getting paid an awful lot of money, and nobody has the right to stop him from doing that. The fight's regulations have not yet been made public, although it is said that the organizers are attempting to have the match recognized as a professional fight under the Texas Boxing Commission's authority. John Kavanaugh, head of SBG Ireland and longtime coach of UFC superstar Conor McGregor, is one critic of the upcoming July 20th fight between Tyson and Jake Paul, which takes place at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. I don't know whether there's a wink and a nod behind the stage, Kavanaugh stated on the MMA Hour. Is Tyson going to be 60, 58, full force blows to the head at 58? No, it's not a good idea, no matter who you are. You don't need to be doing that. If it was kind of an exhibition and they're kind of sparring, great. Because I was asked about not necessarily just Mike, but this kind of YouTube boxing stuff, and my take on it now, rather than being snobby about it, is I just love anything that gets more kids involved in sports. Great if it's combat sports, boxing, wrestling, mixed martial arts, whatever the case may be. And if Jake Paul is doing a good job of filling local boxing gyms, that's a little bit of what we're trying to do. Brilliant. I'm not into the whole whatever else he's doing, particularly in that bout. I don't think someone approaching 60 needs to be fighting. It would appear Jake hits hard. He's knocked out a few guys. So I just hope that it is what it is. It's kind of an entertaining thing. And they move around the ring and kind of spar. As long as it's that, thumbs up. And he's not wrong. Surely the pair have agreed something behind the scenes because there's no way they will both go guns blazing as it could end horribly for either of them. And the last thing the world needs is Jake Paul knocking Mike Tyson unconscious. He would become the most hated man alive. In contrast, 
Tyson Fury stated that Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's next fight will be fantastic for boxing, despite widespread disapproval of the bout. I think it's fantastic for boxing, Fury said on the stomping ground. You've got a legend in Mike Tyson. You've got a YouTube boxer who's come into the game and blew it up and has got millions of followers and millions of views and millions of eyes good, bad, or indifferent. Some people love Paul, some people hate him. So I think it's a really good spectacle for boxing. Brings a lot of people to the game. Listen, who am I to say Mike Tyson shouldn't be boxing or Jake Paul shouldn't be boxing? Good luck to them. They're both gonna make what I call a shit ton of money out of it. So isn't that what it's about? Okay, one guy is 57 years old, but he's a former undisputed world heavyweight king. As for Paul, Fury said, listen, from being a kid on the Disney Channel to fighting Mike Tyson, who wouldn't want to do that? You've got to admire them both. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on this upcoming spectacle between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? Do you see a huge upset with Jake Paul being victorious and winning in spectacular fashion? Or will Mike Tyson show the world he's still the hardest hitter in boxing history? Comment down below. Prior to the eagerly awaited fight, Jake's brother Logan discovered an astonishing discovery. Logan disclosed that he was first invited to fight Tyson, but declined the offer. For both Mike and Jake, the bag. Like at what, at what point you can't, I don't know if you can say no. I said no to fighting Mike Tyson. I'd say no. I was, I was offered it. And you guys I, offered Yeah, I was offered it, but not on Netflix and not for a big ass bag. Yeah. It was just like a, it was just like a, oh, this could be a real fight. Cause I've, I've been asked before. I'm sure you have too. Do you think you could beat Mike Tyson? And my answer was, and will be yes. Well, yeah, I just think, I just think now? Yes, I just think he's too old, bro. That's oh, crazy. Oh, God, he's God. Seen Considering they're brothers with the way the pair act online, you wouldn't think they were. It's as if Logan Paul is trying to undermine the fact his brother is about to take on Iron Mike Tyson. The fact he said he would beat Mike Tyson because he's too old and senile when he couldn't even drop Dylan Danis is pretty hilarious. A few days after the fact, Jake Paul has rejected his brother Logan Paul's suggestion that he turn down his own fight with Mike Tyson. He replied, It is not true. We are the ones that brought the deal to Mike Tyson. My team struck a deal with Netflix and then went to other fighters to get them involved. It started with Tommy Fury, but he wanted more money. Then we went to Mike Tyson, and after months of talking, we got him to fight. Mike Tyson wasn't offering people deals. I don't know why he is saying that. We were the ones offering the deal. You already know Tommy Fury is kicking himself after rejecting the Netflix bag because he hardly has any other options for opponents moving forward. I highly doubt he's going back down the traditional route of boxing. It's pointless. A boxing match between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson was allegedly expected to bring in $300 million. For 260 million paid members, Netflix will stream the epic battle live and at no additional cost. This is the streaming behemoth's first foray into live boxing. Paul predicted two years ago in an interview with The Journey that a fight between Iron Mike and him would generate enormous profits due to its capacity to draw in two distinct audiences. I joke with my friends about it. I'm like, I'll start eating Krispy Kreme donuts, move up to heavyweight and fight Mike Tyson. That would actually excite me. And that's a dollar 200, 300 million event. So Mike, if you're watching this, let's have some fun. New school versus old school, and I think that's something that the fans would want to see," Paul said. Which is why regardless of what people online are saying, if this fight does take place July 20th, and everything in terms of health for both opponents is fine, it will smash all boxing records and most likely will be the most watched fight ever due to it being on Netflix. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from the combat sports world and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.